Steve. Hey, John, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Come on in, get out of the cold. Oh, great, you have toys? Absolutely. This is CoolerBot. CoolerBot is designed to be a nature photography robot. Cooler bot. Cooler bot. Was there a cool bot and then this one was the cooler bot? Uh, no, no. no. Okay. It was because it was made from our cooler. Cooler bot takes pictures of wildlife. I'm not quite sure where the idea for this one came from. I think I just wanted to use a cooler. Uh, <laughs> I think this way this one came about is I saw an ad for coolers or something like that and mm -hmm. said, you know, that would make a great chassis for a robot. This is the smartest cooler I've ever seen. Walking around in Steve's house is really nutty because things are moving all the time. There's a footstool that finds you. This is a is this? robotic ottoman. There is a thermal mode where he can kind of follow you. So maybe you want the stool to follow you to wherever you're going. There's a chessboard that spins around and puts pieces on all by itself. So the table rotates. The arm can then pick up the pieces and move them about. The laser, by the way, kind of indicates what piece is going to be picked up and where it's going to be moved to. And why do you build all these things? I just like building stuff out of simple materials. I mean, I don't have an elaborate shop or anything, but I can take ordinary items and automate them or use them to make devices. There's a garbage can that gets beers for you. Basically, I've solved the problem of the canned beverage and getting it from the refrigerator to you. Notice there's the user interface. <laughs> Press the button. OK. So right now, he's using dead reckoning. In other words, he has a command in his memory that says, move 60 inches and stop. So these are just programmed motions. Those are programmed you, motions, right. You've programmed in. Right. Now, at this point, he's actually being a lot more intelligent. He's actually using that sensor there to pick up the infrared beacon coming off of the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. He sends a command to the fridge to open. He opens his lid. Now he uses the line to navigate to the fridge. Now he commands the refrigerator to drop a can in. And he uses the line just to navigate Following back out. Sends a command, tell Robo Fridge to close up. And now he'll navigate using, again, beacon navigation. By the way, you only have five seconds to get your beer out of there. Oh. Uh, although we can reprogram that if you're a little, especially after the third. After the fourth, third beer, it right, might be yeah. a little hard to hit the right. Yeah, exactly. That makes perfect sense. Steve uses everyday materials. And what could be more everyday than coffee? This is a robotic arm, but a very unique gripper on the end of it. It's actually a balloon filled with coffee grounds. When you extract the air out of the balloon, the coffee grounds lock up. We lift up. It's got the gel caps. Bring them all over. Uh-oh, in the bucket. He and shoots. And release the pressure. He scores. This is Firebot. He's still in development. But eventually, the robot will be able to find a fire, drive to it, and put it out. Heat seeking, a... fire extinguishing robot. A robot, exactly. Yeah, say that three times fast. <laughs> it is fun, but there's a very serious use for this. Sure. Well, yeah. Ah, this is where you build. Take a look at my little workshop. Whoa, this is a very, very small yeah, workspace. Sure. So, and you're creating relatively small robots. Robots, correct, yeah. What if we were to build something bigger? Your electronics, my construction, we build a giant bot. I just don't want to build a big bot for the sake of building a big bot. And I like my robots to have a purpose, a mission. He shoots. He scores. I have an idea. You trust me? He shoots. He scores. Ding. There's the idea. We make a robot that can play basketball. Sure. You shouldn't do that. I know. I'll I meet really... you here in the morning, <laughs> and we're going to build huge a bot. Huge bot.